Asanta is someone who derives happiness by making someone happy. And I started my entrepreneurial journey when I was still a medical student in the University of Colombo. And uh, then I moved to the UK to do my postgraduates, where I did my PhD and also worked there as a clinical research fellow. And uh, moved back to Sri Lanka in 2010 to make a tangible difference in my entrepreneurial journey. Actually, uh, I like adventure, I like to try new things, creative things, do creative things. And uh, while uh, in medical school, uh, it wasn't exciting enough. So we, we had this uh, second MBBS, that is our second year uh, exam, and had a holiday about uh, three to four months. I thought, uh, just why not try uh, my entrepreneurial uh, uh, journey or uh, start something. And uh, I looked at different options and I found that the floral industry uh, is a highly disorganized industry and people had to pay exorbitant uh, amounts for simple uh, floral decoration. So I, I thought I can make a difference uh, in floral industry and just went ahead and started uh, Lassana Floral. Yeah, what I started as Lassana Floral has evolved to uh, a group of company with vertical and horizontal uh, integration and uh, when, you, when we look at the journey uh, we, initially we were uh, exclusively focused on wedding floral decorations that we went into uh, floral retailing and the floriculture which has uh, this our floriculture business growing flowers has become a, a big business now on its own uh, we, are, we are the largest flower grow in the country right now and also we ventured into uh, e-commerce as an extension of our flower business but uh, with the COVID we uh, started uh, delivering uh, fresh produce and grocery items now it's become it has become a, another big business because uh, we uh, came at uh, supply the fresh produce uh, from farm to doorstep within 24 hours and then uh, we started our uh, confectionery business then again during the covid period uh, where we produce a range of uh, chocolates cookies under the artrix brand and also uh, a range of sri lankan delicacies under treats of Sinop brand i think uh, the customer centricity or the even uh, extreme customer centricity uh, is our focus and uh, we, we as a team, uh, all of all of our uh, employees, or I mean we call them uh, partners, we think uh, that disappointing a customer in some way is a crime. And uh, when you look at each of our business vertical, uh, we are addressing unique societal problem. And uh, when we went into a flower, uh, the floral business. The flowers were very expensive, a poor quality, it does not last seven days. We, we, we have addressed those challenges and now we have made highest quality, fresh, uh, the fresh flowers affordable for everyone. And uh, when we look at our uh, the vegetable and fresh produce business, uh, we know that the, uh, our fresh produce prices in Sri Lanka are very uh, expensive which is comparable to European uh, prices. Now we are working towards bringing down these prices while increasing the quality, safety and freshness of fresh produce. When we started uh, the flower industry or the floral uh, industry, the flower prices were very high and uh, they are very fluctuate and we've been able to stabilize flower prices and uh, while bringing down the flower prices compared to inflation and the uh, devaluation of the currency. So our current focus is to uh, replicate what we have done with flowers with fresh produce, fruits and vegetables, because our fresh produce prices are far too expensive compared to our purchasing, uh, 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 in comparison to our purchasing power. When you look at the regional prices, uh, in India, uh, Pakistan and the Bangladesh and this region, uh, the fresh produce prices are much cheaper than in Sri Lanka. And another problem is our prices are very fluctuant, uh, the peaks and troughs. And uh, despite all this, the, the farmers are poor. And uh, when you are paying this higher price, still you are not getting the quality. Our fresh produce quality is very poor and the hygiene standards are very poor, freshness is very poor. So we want to make the uh, fresh produce, which is healthy, hygienic uh, and uh, yet 
affordable. So we want to bring down vegetable prices significantly while increasing farm profitability. So it looks uh, a challenge uh, because it is uh, quite possible uh, when you use technology. When you use technology, uh, the cost of production can be brought down. So the farmer's cost of when the farmer's cost of production is brought down, he can be much more profitable even at uh, even when they sell at a little lower price. And other challenge is the uh, post harvest loss. Uh, whatever we produce in Sri Lanka, about 35 to 40 percent goes waste. Un without consuming. So uh, we are also uh, working towards minimizing this to less than 5%. My friend, Make <laughs> Someone starting out should uh, assess his uh, strengths and weaknesses and also try to figure out what societal challenges, societal problems you could solve and then go ahead and start it. And when you start, when you have started, it will be a continuous journey of challenges, problems, failures. And don't give up. Just keep trying and keep finding innovative, creative ways for answering these challenges. You will succeed one day. It's a long journey. Don't look for shortcuts. It, it will uh, be a long journey. I have several uh, role models uh, in my life. One is Lord Buddha for his love, com compassion and his focus on developing mind. And then uh, my father for his honesty, integrity and keeping his word always. And I always uh, aspire uh, to uh, follow his uh, the values, uh, he, even though he passed away last year. And my mother for, his, for her unconditional love and also uh, the uh, creative thinking and continuous learning. 
she's in three, she's still learning new things and trying new things. So that inspires me and uh, she's a, a role model to me. When it comes to uh, adverse effects or adverse events or challenges, I think it's uh, unlimited. I think that's part of uh, running a business. You will encounter new challenges all the time. Apart from the uh, in the country challenges, like you know, we have seen uh, the Easter attack to uh, the COVID to the economic crisis, and all these have really uh, made uh, our uh, like you know created challenging situations for our business. And uh, also specific challenges uh, when I was uh, the uh, studying in the uh, uh, medical school uh, like you know uh, the, the couple of months before the final exam uh, the, the manager left so I was in uh, uh, the uh, it was an acute challenge for me and also uh, the while running the business uh, as a uh, uh, as a part uh, on part-time basis while practicing medicine it was very challenging and uh, each time you know there are 101 things that you could do but you don't have time to work on those. So uh, I think uh, the managing uh, a business or developing a business uh, on part-time basis for a long period had been very very challenging.